Hi there everyone and in this video I have a fantastic chess game to show you between Ernst Grunfeld with the white pieces and his opponent was Hans Kmoch. So Ernst Grunfeld is a well-known chess player. Uh, he was one of the first chess grandmasters uh, ever who became a chess grandmaster in 1950 and he was one of the top 10 chess players in the world after the First World War. So, a very strong chess player and the Grunfeld defense was named after him. Uh, so, his opponent Hans Kmoch was a strong chess international master and he was also known as a chess writer and a journalist. So, let's see what happened in this chess game. I think you have to see this chess game. Grunfeld starts the game with d4, we have d5. And this chess game was played in 1926. So c4 and we have the queen's gambit declined. Knight to f3, knight to f6, bishop to g5, h6, capturing the knight, queen takes on f6, knight to c3, c6, and the game is transposing into the semi slav defense. So knight to d7, bishop to d3, bishop to b4, pinning the knight, and Grunfeld played queen to b3, capturing and capturing back, d takes on c4, bishop takes on c4, and both players castled, pushing the pawn, and if capturing the pawn, so black wants to weaken, uh, exchanging the queens, and then capturing back with the knight, and it is going to be a dull position. So white is going to have more attacking chances when they have the queen on the board, so not capturing and then rook from f to d1, c takes on d4, rook takes on d4, and we have b6. Fianchetto, the bishop, is maybe the idea, doubling the rooks and knight to e5. So exchanging the knights and, of course, pushing the pawn, not moving the rook and not exchanging the queens, queen to c5, pushing the pawn and queen to c7. So, pinning the bishop and pushing the b-pawn is the threat in this position. So, if moving the bishop, capturing the queen. Queen to d3 by Ernst Grunfeld. Unpinning the bishop, e5. And in this position, Grunfeld played rook to d6. And black didn't see what's happening here. Did you see the idea of Grunfeld? Well, this is also blocking the queen and maybe capturing the pawn is possible. But in this position, we have e takes on f4, and which move was better uh, for black? Actually, bishop to f5 is possible, deflecting the queen, and after capturing the bishop, black is okay. Uh, but in this position, we have rook to d6, and e takes on f4, and white has a very strong move in this position. So what would you do if you had the white pieces? So this was the unexpected lightning strike by Ernst Grunfeld, which made this chess game an epic chess game. He played rook takes on h6, which came out of nowhere. We have bishop to f5. Actually, black is in big trouble after this move. After rook takes on h6 and how to defend the checkmate threat. So of course, we are going to check out what happens if capturing the rook then we have queen to g6, the f-pawn is pinned, so king to h8, and then check, only move, check, only move, checking the king, so what else? If king to h7, bishop to d3, so only move, king to g8, and then rook to d5, and there is no sensible defense against rook to g5, and getting checkmated on g7, queen to g7, checkmate after king to h7, even if Rook to e8, making room for the king. Then we have rook to h5 and how to defend the checkmate threat on h8. So this was the idea of Ernst Grunfeld. So this is why uh, he simply sacrificed the exchange, but not accepting and how to defend actually. So if pushing the g-pawn, then we have queen takes on g6 and this is checkmate on the spot. So again, the f-pawn is pinned, pinning the pawn to the king with the bishop. 
So rook takes on h6, bishop to f5, uh, capturing, but is it too late because there is no time for capturing the bishop? White is threatening checkmate, and you can't push the pawn because of getting checkmated. So desperate move, we have rook to f8, and maybe exchanging the rooks comes to mind in this position, but Grunfeld played queen to h7, checking the king, king to f8 is the only move, and then queen to h8, only move, and it looks like Ernst Grunfeld is in big trouble, because four of his pieces is under attack. So rook is attacking the rook, and the pawn is attacking the rook, and also the rook is attacking the queen, and the queen is attacking the bishop, so it looks like white is in big trouble, <laughs> out of nowhere. Was this a blunder by Ernst Grunfeld? So what would you do in this position? How to extricate yourself in this situation? What would you do? Well, let me tell you this. Grunfeld played a move and his opponent resigned. He played rook to e6, bada move and bada move. Black resigned. Black is getting checkmated by force. So this is the only move. F takes on e6, capturing the pawn only move, checking the king, and well, actually in this position, bishop to b5 is also winning, uh, and black is getting checkmated in five moves, so check, but this is uh, much better, check, checkmate, easily checkmating the black king, so what do you think about this chess game, what a game, and did you see some of the key moves? Uh, Actually, in this position, rook to e6 is the final move of this chess game. So, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time with more interactive chess games. So, stay safe, take care, and bye-bye.